Oh, a walk of Pappy, a guy that really doesn't get out of his strike zone all that often. Took a close one there from Ray Black. Now Black will deal with Bautista. He's 0-4-3 today. Runner goes to second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss at 98. Up in the zone. And up to second on defensive indifference will go Mike Pappy. Of course, Akron's really helped out Black in this inning. They've swung at balls out of the strike zone. But again, you have to decide, am I going to swing at this pitch before you can recognize if it's going to be a strike or not? As soon as it comes out of Black's hand, here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss on a fastball inside for strike two. And now the crowd can feel it one more time. On their feet here in the River City. Trying to urge on Ray Black to end this six-game losing streak. Two strikes on the hitter, Bautista. Here's the pitch. Just a little bit low at 101 miles an hour. Black has really hit a stride recently. Came off an outing in Binghamton two days ago on Sunday. A scoreless outing there. allowed just one run since the beginning of June. Two strikes on the hitter, Bautista. Two outs. Here comes the pitch. High and in. Past the catcher, LaRude, all the way to the backstop. And a wild pitch will move Pappy down to third. That one slipped away and came close to Bautista as he leaned back out of the way. The count evens at two. Black has allowed one home run on the season. That one I can't remember. That was against oh, Dean Green. Dean Green. Here, yeah. Straight away center, was it? Yeah, I think so. If Bautista can reach, then Todd Hankins will be the tying run. As the Squirrels lead 6-3 to three in this top of the ninth inning. The pair of strikeouts in this outing for Ray Black. Runner on third, two gone, and here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. And Black dials 99 on the radar gun to end the six-game losing streak. Tyler Rogers, the AAA, Ray Black back in the closer's role. And Black successfully.